Hey guys, Indy here with Ultimate 2 Reviews. Well, just uh, went and checked the front of my door here, and uh, all of a sudden I had a package just sitting on my doorstep here um, from SK Tools. Now, if you didn't know SK, um, they were recently bought out by another company. Um, a lot of people were worried they made in China again. Um, are they going to be made still here in the U.S.? What's going to happen with SK? And many people are just wondering, hey, are we going to get even warranty replacements right now? As there was many, many issues going on. Um, I called, I think, four, five, six months ago. It's been quite a while. Um, I called, I actually had a socket that cracked in two places, and I called the replacement. Now, the lady on the phone was really nice. She said that, hey, it's going to be quite a while. We are not only moving, but we're also redoing some of our machinery, redoing the sockets. Um, we're not shipping any orders out right now. And she said it's going to be a while. I said, no problem. That's no big deal. Um, but anyway, so I finally got in my replacement socket. So let's check this out, and I'm really curious to see how this now compares to some of the older stuff they have. So I've got a SK, it's gonna be a 5 16 socket in here, and uh, looks like it's a pretty standard packaging here. Um, it came via FedEx, so if you guys are waiting for anything from SK still for warranty replacements, it's probably gonna be coming from FedEx. Um, you would think this would come like just a small envelope, but it did not. Um, I have the original socket right here, so I'm kind of curious to see how they compare. They look pretty identical, um, but you can definitely tell there is a bit of change here. Um, there's a bit more of uh, tapering in here on the socket, and overall I can tell. You know, the newer one is uh, looks a bit thinner here. If you look real closely there, um, you can see there's more kind of metal near the corners there. So that's kind of interesting. And you can see my old one where that cracked there. I've got a crack right there, and I've got a crack right there. Wasn't wrenching on it too hard, wasn't using it on impact. Um, just was taking off some smaller bolts and was kind of tight. Heard a little bit of a crack happen, and no big deal there. That happens with all brands of sockets. Um, but yeah, definitely some uh, differences, you know, in the, um, even the lettering here. I can see in the old one, it's more, more clear. Um, and of course there's some dirt in there too, of course, but um, it looks a little bit more, you know, shinier on the uh, the newer one. Still does say USA on the new one, which is cool, so that's nice. It's still made in the USA. Um, of course, time will tell how well these sockets are made. Alright, so let's see how it goes on. Pretty smooth there, no real... Nothing feels out of the ordinary there for this socket. See if I can notice any other differences between these two. I'm not really seeing anything too crazy in the differences. Looks like even the uh, the newer one is a little bit deeper in there too. You can kind of see that a little bit. And of course the newer one is gonna be thinner. It's the same basically diameter all around. Whereas the older one does have that, you know, that kind of tapering that goes on there, where it's kind of thicker at the base as well. So really cool to see uh, SK kind of coming back, still made in the USA, according to this one socket I got. And uh, they're shipping out warranty claims again, guys. So if you are um, a former SK tool user, you got SK tools you want to get replaced, give them a call now. They're shipping out replacements. If you already got stuff on order, or you called like I did months ago, uh, be on the lookout, guys. Um, you might be getting a FedEx package with some of your replacements coming in. Um, other than that, guys, um, looks like they're doing pretty good here, and let's hope for the best. Well, guys, thanks for watching, and uh, leave a comment below. Thanks again.